With our complete team coverage in Montgomery County with Solange Sosa, the strong winds leaving behind some serious damage in Silver Spring, and that's where Solange joins us live. Solange, what are you seeing out there? Mauricio, let me tell you, we started feeling those winds pick up and intensify after 7 p.m. Right now, you can still feel them. And just a few minutes ago, how it was whipping even the larger trees. Let me show you the scene where we're standing. We moved to Silver Spring and take a look. We got here after reports of those heavy winds taking down power lines and branches and blocking streets. So, well, see, we're standing at the corner of Houston and Street and Hankins, where you can see that car. And surrounded by smaller and larger branches broken off and even a larger trunk. And if you take a look closer to the car, we have those images. You can see that it even has a broken windshield. It doesn't seem like anyone was home at the time. We've been standing here for some time and we haven't seen anyone. But as the latest update here also in Montgomery County, we've We've been told that the outages are up in the 1800s. So the most important thing right now is that if you come across some of those falling branches and falling power lines, you just avoid them and stay away. That's all I have from Silver Spring. Back to you, Mauricio. Solange, thanks so much. A scary scene out there. Glad everyone's okay. And because of those scenes like the one Solange just showed us, thousands of people are in the dark tonight. She mentioned it a little bit earlier. We just checked with Dominion Energy. About 33,000 customers are without power right now. The majority of those customers in Fairfax County. Pepco is reporting 7,000 outages, and about half of those customers are in Prince George's.